Good day, my beautiful and handsome learners. I am your teacher in English too. My name is Roxanne Cervantes. You can call me Miss M. Learners, today you will be able to identify the preposition in and on and you are going to write with simple sentences and context using in and on preposition. Are you excited, learners? But before we proceed to our discussion for today, let's have a prayer. And after that, we are going to sing a nursery song. Everybody, let's bow our head and let us pray. Our loving God, we praise and thank you for the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us a chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that has caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless us with the wisdom to understand our lesson and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Help us to become children you want us to be. This we pray of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Learners, let's start singing. Now, look at the picture. Where is the ball? Very good. The ball is in the basket. Where is the pen? 
Very good. The pen is on the book. Where is the book? The book is on the table. Where is the bird? The bird is in the cage. Let us read the sentences you answered. Everybody, read. The ball is in the basket. The pen is on the book. The book is on the table. The bird is in the cage. So, when the object is inside, we use preposition in. And when the object is on top, we use preposition on. Again, when the object is inside, what preposition is used? Very good! We use preposition in. And when the object is on top, what preposition is used? Very good! We use preposition on. I guess you already know our lesson today. Let's have a try. I will give you the picture and identify which preposition used in the picture. For example, the dog is on the bed. I will give you 15 minutes to answer. Are you done? Great! Let's take a look if your answer is right. The candies are in the jar. The eggs are in the basket. The butterfly is on the leaf. The fish is in the aquarium. Thank you learners! I hope you understand and learn our lesson today. Goodbye and God bless you all.